Cup Aquarius. My name is Lisa. Just going to do a quick energy reading for the month of March 2019 for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus sign. So if this doesn't resonate with you, check those other signs. Um, also, this is a general reading. So, oh, and like energy is fluid so just remember that if it's not you it could be like somebody that you're dealing with energy that I'm picking up on so but I'm just going to read them how I see them and you'll know where you go so Ooh. I just want you to know that this card the soulmate card the true love card like in different decks they all kept popping out so we're definitely talking about love here I think today and you're definitely dealing with the soulmate connection. So let's see. Three cards for Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of March 2019, please. Three cards. I don't feel like that's done. It's not done. Three cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon. Okay, here we go. Ooh, so closing out cycles. This could be traveling, world traveling. I feel like it's closing out cycles. Yeah, it's taken a lot of courage and strength to do this too. I think that last month there was like some um, issues going on within your relationships. You were closing out cycles as well, working on them anyway. So this is good. A lot of you have done it. Like you've done, you've stepped up to the plate to, to end those repeated cycles. All right, so two more cards here for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. Here we go. Ooh. Ace of Cups. What's here? Yeah, see? Okay, so I feel like this is what's ending. This is what you're walking away from. You're walking away from, because I, if I remember correctly, Aquarius last month was like, there was a lot of this going on. There was a lot of this um, Five of Swords, which is like conflict and just, So this is about love, all right? I told you this is about love, but I feel like there's a new cycle of love starting. So maybe within this connection or you're meeting like someone who's completely different from anyone that you've ever dated before. All right, so one more card here for Aquarius. And then Rising and Venus plus the bottom of the deck, please. Yeah. Oh, my God, with the Nine of Swords. Let me see what's underneath here. Dang. All right. So obviously there's been, there's still this um, lingering sense of betrayal is what I heard. Okay. But I feel like this is a peace offering. All right. Like he's like some sort of peace offering coming. There's going to be communication about this. Yeah, because this is the start of romance. This can also represent a child. There could be a lot of controversy over somebody getting pregnant. Having a child. Let's see. All right, I haven't been moved to um, get clarifiers from anybody else, but I'm going to do it for you because this is just, I do shuffle all my decks, but, and look at what's in there, the two of cups. I'm telling you, this is a soulmate connection. This is why it's like so intense. All right, let me just give this a couple of shuffles and we'll get some clarifiers here. Aquarius. Because I feel like somebody, um, the new cycle, it because this can also be about self-love, okay? So you're starting a new journey, like, 
within yourself, but this is a new beginning with love. It's a fresh start with love, but I feel like somebody's like still stressing over whether or not you do it or not. Because, yeah, see, look, Ten of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So that's a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, maybe a Betrayal. Let's see. All right, let's get clarification on the world. What is ending here? What is... Oh, yeah. Two of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, because you want, because you want, um, you want this so bad, this beginning, this, this new love, this fresh start. This is why you're up all night, but there's like, there's just still a lot of bullshit and you're still talking about it, the communication going back and forth, back and forth. Let's see. What's this Ace of Cups? Jesus. All right, this one fell down. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're fighting for this, this new beginning, this new love. Like somebody's like really in it to win it here. Like I feel like somebody is doing everything, like just everything and anything possible to restart this romance, to just like bring in this. Like it's almost, it's like just drastic measures going to any means necessary. All right, what is this Knight of Cups about? What is this Knight of Cups about? Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. I mean, the Knight of Cups is about truth. I do feel like this um, is ending because we do have, like with this and this, this makes the Ten of Swords, which means it's it's going to completion, which means the truth is going to come out. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so I do feel that whatever's going on in this situation here, because this is like, I feel like somebody's about to make a decision, which is going to close out the cycle. So the cycle might not be completed yet because someone's still going back and forth because they want this so bad. They want this new beginning they, of love and abundance. It's like new job. Um, Yeah, and look, we got the Ace of Cups again with yeah, so I do feel um and the King of the King of Wands is all about action, right? Like he's he this is a king that has risen to the top. He's he's made lots of mistakes, but he's learned from them, okay? Um I, I want to say like, he's even like self-made, like he's like not your typical everyday king. Like he's the, the king that like, he may have started off one day as homeless, you know what I mean? And then he ended up being the king. All right. So, but he's also extremely handsome and, um, charismatic and yeah, I feel like He's wanting justice. He's wanting to bring justice into this situation. I feel like, you know, he wants to offer this new beginning as much as whomever is trying going back and forth, because I feel like two different. Um, I feel like this is someone you're dealing with Aquarius. This king. Yeah, look, there it is again. Someone is in pause. See, somebody's sitting back and evaluating the situation because he wants to do the right thing. 
this king, whomever this king is. I feel like it's it's who who you're dealing with, Aquarius. They want to do the right thing. They want to bring justice to the situation. They want to bring balance to the situation. I'm hearing that song, baby. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? I'm losing my mind just a little. So, I don't know. You might want to listen to that song if you want. So, but let's see. Let's get one love card here for Aquarius. Woo! All right, you saw that? Yeah, forgiving and learning. Yeah, because whoever this king is, it's like, I feel like he's really screwed up. <laughs> and he knows it. And it's like, and I feel like you, Aquarius, you're going back and forth about whether or not you should even deal with this situation. And look, you're being asked to trust, to trust the situation. And it's also asking for forgiving and learning to happen as well. You know, like learn from from the past, learn from the, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. It's like, it's got to be let go. Whatever's happened, whatever he's done, he wants to make it right. So it's like, okay, focus on the solution. No longer, it, you can't like keep digging at the past, you know, bringing up the past or it's either you, you move forward or you don't, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's really how it feels. But I do feel like there is an opportunity here for a complete rebirth of a connection, but somebody is going back and forth about it, like up all night because the, like the bullshit has been like serious. Okay. Like we got the seven of swords and the nine of swords. All right. And the communication is not like, you're trying to communicate about this, but you're dealing with someone who doesn't really talk about their feelings so much. So it's like, it's really hard to get through it, you know, and you just want to like move away. You want, you just want balance back in brought into this, this relationship. You, you just want, that's it. Like, I feel like someone's just like, ugh, like it's, it's super fucking simple, you know? And here's this world card again, because I also feel like this is a, a situation that goes, you go round and round. Let's see. It might even call for somebody like outside of you guys to help you be able to learn to talk to each other, you know, because I mean, this is a definite deep soul connection. I mean, no doubt. And the, and the possibility is there. The possibilities are like there for this rebirth and this new beginning. I'm hearing, but it's, it, it goes with listening. And I think that's both from both sides. All right. So let's get advice here for Aquarius for the month of March synchronicity. So you're getting signs to let you know what to do because somebody is really in their head and it says, make a date for play, make a date for a play day with one or more friends. And self-employment. Yeah, because over here, I was feeling this. Uh, remember I told you, like, with this, this new beginning, I feel like some of you may be contemplating starting your own business or thinking about it. And I get that also, like, with this guy, okay? With this king of wands. I feel like that's him. So, I don't know. That might be your partner or whatever. But um, this self-employment is there. And this friendship I don't know. I was, I was really just drawn to this guy that's like coming and she's like hiding behind the tree, watching him come. So it's like this person is with, is out with their friends, but they're still focused on what this person is doing. And I feel like what this card is saying is like, go out with your friends and like literally don't worry about what your partner is doing or the, who, whomever it is. 
like go out and just like seriously enjoy yourself. You're getting signs and synchronicities to let you know what path you should take. So all you have to do is pay attention. And because look, it even says here, it says your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their, their flow. So that's like number synchronicities, you know, like 1111, 222, whatever you see them anywhere. And it's like the name that's it's, there's tons of synchronicities. Okay. Um, yeah. Trust. Yeah, look, because your romantic feelings are, are real. Just trust the situ situation. Like, if, I feel like you got to, like, give a little to get a little. And I feel like that goes to from both sides, whatever angle, like, whichever side of this you're on, Aquarius. So, all right, Aquarius, I love you. I'll see you in um, April. Have a great March. Bye.